Cool, so... Welcome back! Yeah, welcome Rashi back. Flank going Commando, developer commentary, episode whatever. I'm... Uh, uh, back on Planet Uzla. Yes, I am Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And uh, we had just got the gravity boots from uh, the arena in Joba, so we came here so that we could get the box breaker and play the uh, boss battle that we talked about. Let's make sure that we're all set here. All right, looks like we are. All right, let's do this, dude. Do you remember this oh, guy? Now I remember. Yes, I do now. Oh. Oh man. It's not This it's, seems this seems very difficult. Well, it's it's he's an optional boss for one thing. Uh, and He's got uh, a lot of hit points for sure. Oh god. Maybe they assume I'm way more leveled up than I than I am. How much damage has he been doing to me? Uh, I haven't been watching your help, but he's not taking a lot of damage. And the Seeker's pretty much been destroying everything else up to this point, so... Uh, let's, let's mini turrets. Let's see, can I throw one out there? No? You gotta throw them on the lily pads. Oh, really? Oh, God. And the lily pads are moving. No wonder this is a secret fight. This is way harder than any, uh... Wow. And he is not taking a lot of damage at all. Alright, let's pull out the big guns, literally. Oh, crap, are you serious? I'm glad this isn't over fall to death. Just <laughs> fall to sticky, right? Like that... If this was over fall to death, I would murder somebody. You know what we might have to do, Mike? What? And this this might be a little bit cheating. But we'll we might have to do a quick edit, head over back to the arena off camera, come back with an upgraded seeker, and uh, maybe an updated mini turret. And we'll just pick up right here afterwards if you end up dying to this guy. Because I don't think you have the weapons necessary. Whoa. Uh, I just don't think you have enough ammo, to be honest. That's true. I'm probably going to run out of ammo before this guy does. And so the upgraded Seekers, I was close to, right? Yeah, you're very close. I think if we just do one of those arena challenges, that will probably be best if it's off-camera anyway. Uh, we'll get an upgraded Seeker. Oh. And then... Okay. So yeah, let's, let's do some editing magic right here. Okay, so go. All right, and now we're back. That's uh, right. Yeah, with, with no changes whatsoever having been made no, to our we, arsenal of weaponry, we are just going to keep trying to beat him on the same terms that we did before. That's uh, right. Nothing has changed. We have bought no new weapons. We have we upgraded. We didn't get any upgrades. No, we're just going to try again uh, and maybe not suck as much this time. Those, def those are definitely doing a good deal of damage, but he's still got a ton of life. It, th this is where this is the decider right here. This is what's gonna make the difference. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that's crushing it. That's doing some damage. Oh. Oh. Is there nothing I can do to avoid that? I don't know. Ah. What is all the way out here? What's up? Why you just what? Why is there? Uh, what's down that path? The path behind me? Yeah. Is this just a big circle or what? Yeah, it's a circle. Oh man! So many freaking bosses in this game. Okay. I guess oh wow! I'm... The ninja stars don't work against the eye. <laughs> well, I, I, I think the eye is not a valid target, is the problem. Uh, let me try the... Uh, uh, where's the blaster? Oh, it's on your quick select already, on the far right. That's the sniper right Oh, no, that's the sniper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which won't be super useful in this fight. Well, so. no, it, it did a ton of damage before, but probably not when he's so small. Oh, I forgot we have mods on this. It's still not doing a ton of damage. I might as well use up all the ammo.
Man, this guy is beefy. Beefy boss here. He probably didn't get a lot of user testing because he's optional and hidden, you know? You were definitely fighting him wrong before by just standing in that section. This does seem to be the right way to fight him. Oh. I love that there's no no ammo delivered, no health, nothing. Yeah, you might want to switch off to something else. Now would be a good time to use the Ninja Stars. Oh, yeah. Duh. All right, hang on, let me get a little space. Man, this is a punishing boss fight. Whew. What, what, you're just what, using... what do you think it is that makes this so punishing, Tony? You just, you're using everything you got on this guy, and it's still barely going to be enough, it looks like. Like, you're going to deplete all of your ammo, and you're still barely going to take this guy down. Because that's what it's looking like right now. That's pretty punishing. That, you know, you have to basically deplete your entire stock. And if you come in unprepared without all the weapons that you need, or you're just God, going to lose. Or, God forbid, not having bought new ammo. Right. I mean, that's kind of brutal to, to just have a boss fight that will be unbeatable at, for until you get to a certain sort of, uh, not even upgrade level, until you have a certain amount of weapons purchased. Yeah, I guess that's why we made him optional. Because he was just too... Like, he was finished enough that it probably wasn't worth cutting him. But uh, right. he was brutal enough that it wasn't worth sort of... Only two more shots on this one. And now you're done there. Uh, mini turrets on the pa on the lily pads? Um, wait, let me switch back to the sniper rifle. Oh, yeah, yeah. That should take him down. That should be the end of it. Oh, that's not the sniper rifle. One more. There, there you go. Man, he took everything you Whew. had. That's madness. But the prize is worth it. For we have. It's a good thing we didn't do anything to change up our wet our arsenal. Yeah. Can you imagine what would have happened if we'd done that? that oh, you know what? You totally screwed up though, because you got the killing shot with an already upgraded weapon. Oh. oh. That's just lost experience. Sorry. No, but it's not nothing to be sorry about. That's, I think, something that, again, we fixed in the later games. Did we give the experience to weapons that you didn't have Acro equipped? That you had, you, well, if, after, for boss fights, I think what we ended up doing for boss fights in Up Your Arsenal was ah. we kept track of the weapons that you had used in the boss fight, and then when he died, we distributed it across what had actually been used, oh, that's as opposed nice. to the weapon that got the killing blow. That's a much nicer way to do it. For uh, developer commentary, I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll catch you next time.